Dan Oman, Mike Beer, the feature race at Woodbine on Sunday is the grade three Seaway Stakes. Phillies and mares going seven eighths of a mile on the tapita surface, carded as race number eight. Before we begin with the analysis, I want to remind everybody that if you can't make it out to Woodbine and you're in the Ontario area, no better place than to watch the races, whether it be thoroughbred or harness, than at Champions Off Track Betting. Plenty of locations throughout the Ontario area to watch the best horse racing around. Let's take a look at the field for the Grade 3 Seaway. Again, we're going seven-eighths of a mile. Mike, the two-summer Sunday, even money on the morning line, a deserving favorite. She's won four out of her last five, a perfect six-for-six six on synthetic. Got a nice, easy trip last time out on the lead in the Royal North on turf, but she's looked good in her last few races and is way the horse to beat. Yeah, I agree. She did look good last time with a, with an easy trip, but she's basically won um, all of her six, all of those seven wins that she's had, basically won all of them pretty easily. Um, she just looks like a really, really good horse and loves this surface. Are you concerned about the pace situation in this race? However, she draws directly inside of the other main pace foe. That's the three Al Nila, and Timeform US agrees as we take a peek at the Timeform US pace projector. They've got Al Nila right on top of Summer Sunday in the early portion of this race. Al Nila ran on turf last time out. I don't really think that's her thing, even though she didn't run badly at all. And the winner came back to run a good fourth in the Della Rose at Saratoga with an 89 buyer. She has good synth form in some races that makes her dangerous yeah she does um you know she has speed but it's not like she's you know like a bullet out of there i, I don't think this is going to be a, a tough pace situ situation for summer sunday um it certainly wasn't in the hendry we'll see if things are different this time it just seems to me this is a, a nice filial Nila, but it just seems to me that Summer Sunday is better than she is. The horse that Summer Sunday might have to hold off late's the five, Katie Baby, a very progressive daughter of Curlin, never off the board from six lifetime starts. And we usually like horses cutting back to this seven furlong distance. She just missed last time out against a pretty decent foe in Pamina in the Ontario Matron while finishing ahead of two next out winners. Uh, I think she's versatile enough to sit just off of the leaders and she's dangerous. Yeah, I agree with that. I think she is the most dangerous rival in this race. I like her cutting back, and I think she can get a good trip in this race. I'm not sure if we should sleep on the seven divine mischief, despite her most recent dud in the grade three Hendry. She's proven her medal on the Woodbine track in the past over synthetic. She won the ruling angel uh, over this track last year. Now, Norm McKnight as a high percentage trainer at Woodbine, and here's a formulator fact to consider with Divine Mischief. Past five years, horses three and up, synthetic sprints off two to four month uh, layoffs, 40% winners, 343 ROI. This filly's got some speed, and maybe all she needed was a little break. Yeah, I, I think you're going to expect a better performance out of her this time. I don't know if it's going to make her good enough, Dan. Um, she's run some good races, but nothing that's going to um, threaten the favorite so far, but she's way better than that last race shows. Divine Metal gets back to synth. She's only raced once prior on the surface. She got a decent setup, I thought, in that optional claiming race. She finished second, beaten the length, and last time out on the turf, she ran to a good field. The third place horse coming back to finish third in the Galway at Saratoga with an 87 buyer, but she's light on figs. Yeah, not bad two back, though, over this distance, a race where she just got wired and finished an okay second. She has to improve. Boy, now play nice and Mystic Nile had it their own way last time out in that optional claiming race. They couldn't have gone any slower for seven furlongs. 25 and three, 48 and three. No surprise, they ran one too early. It was disappointing that Mystic Nile didn't hold second. Uh, this is going to be a much tougher scenario and a tougher class situation. Yeah, both those things are true. These two horses are, are both big long shots in here. Top selection time for the Grade 3 Seaway Stakes. We think Summer Sunday is going to make it 7 for 7 on the synth. Going to have to deal with Al Nila early. Going to likely have to deal with Katie Baby late. I went 2 5 three. I went 2 5 three as well. I'm, a, I'm afraid of Katie Baby in here. I think she's got a real chance to upset, but I put the favorite on top. Let's see if Summer Sunday can make it 8 for 10 in her career as she starts favored in the Grade 3 Seaway on Sunday and has an approximate post time of 4.57 Eastern. Good luck.